What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing the third and final origin form Pokemon from Generation 4. We got ourselves a Garatina team for you guys today. Now, Garatina rocks a Levitate as Spellity, which I absolutely love, making it immune to any ground type moves. Furthermore, it's holding the Grecious Core to actually boost Dragon and Ghost type moves. So, solid item for this Pokemon. Love it so much. But Garatina is over here rocking Dragon Pulse, Shadow Ball, Calm Mind, and Pain Split. So, the whole kind of premise of this team is to set up Garatina with Calm Mind, put it behind Comfy. Comfy could then heal up. Garatina and Garatina could just be a sweeper or a big time damage Pokemon from there. Absolutely love it. But we also have other strong Pokemon on today's team, such as Wellspring Ogre Pond, Incineroar, Tornadus, and Comfy for support. And last but not least, we have Great Tusk over here. Great Tusk is going to be phenomenal paired up with Garatina because one, Garatina has Levitate, and two, Great Tusk is rocking Choice Scarf. So we can just start sending EQs, outspeeding a lot of Pokemon, not hitting our ally Garatina, and doing big time damage all around. Absolutely love this team. I did use it on the casual ladder for a couple matches and I already went 2-0 with it. So super excited to start recording with this team. Hopefully grab some wins for you guys. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Origin Form Garatina. First match on its way, and I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Pokeberm. Thank you so much for making this team, making it a round code, and making a Poke Pace for this team. I will be linking his channel down in the description below. So if you guys want to check out the team more in depth, make sure you head over to Pokeberm's channel. But we're going up against another Comfy Combine user team. They got Thrap Ghost and Comfy, and honestly, I might just lead the same exact thing. Go into Garatina, go in the Comfy for two reasons. One, we can set up Combine and kind of get after it that way. Two, None of these Pokemon are affected by Fake Out. We got Covert Cloak on the uh, on the Comfy, and then we got a Ghost type on Garatina. So I actually really like this lead. I actually do really like this lead. So that is exactly what we're gonna go we'll go into. In the back end, we could honestly end up going into Incineroar, but I kind of need some Pokemon to outspeed. Right, like Great Tusk could be solid, and I kind of really like Great Tusk. Big time damage can be super effective onto the uh, the Incineroar. And furthermore, actually, what was your other move? It's close combat, I believe, right? Yeah, close combat. We're going to need something to deal with. Real boom. And that's where I bring in Incineroar. So I like it. I like this team right here. We're trying to try to set up Garatina here in match number one. Heal it up with the Comfy. Get the Calm Minds going. Big time damage from there. But it really depends on who they want to lead here. Because they could go to Rap Goes Comfy, which I'm kind of hoping they don't. I'd rather be the one to set up, not both of us setting up. It would kind of get annoying, but we'll see. We'll see what they want to do here. I could definitely see uh, Fake Out User and Terrapagos come out here for a lead. Definitely an option. It is definitely an option. So yeah, definitely want to set up this combine. Let's see who they end up leading. It's going to be dun -dun -dun, Incineroar and Futterman, which I don't mind. I don't mind the Fake Out User that Intimidates aren't really affecting us either. Considering we are special attacking. That's huge. So I could see a Shadow Ball pop out here from... From what's it called? From Fluttermane. So I am going to Terra into Fairy, which I like. I am going to set up the first Calm Mine. And from here, I might as well just go for like a Drainy Kiss or something. We will have first turn priority, so we can actually just chip up damage onto, onto uh, Incineroar here. I like it. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. So we'll see what they want to do. I mean, they, I, I would think they would just fake out the Comfy, right? I would think they would just fake out the Comfy and then probably go for a Shadow Ball into Garatina. They're really thinking a lot here. I mean, that would be a perfect turn for us, right? Because then we got Covert Cloak. They waste a turn with Fake Out. Um, we get off the Calm Mind. And if they send Shadow Ball into Garatina, it's really not going to be doing that much damage. This is the Fairy Turn. There we go. Here we go. I feel like I've been using a lot of Calm Mind teams as of recently. Luke deal was Calm Mind boosted. Terrapagos. Now we're using Garatina. It just works so well. That special defense and special attack boost. Top tier. A nice big time terror coming out from us. We're going to go for a draining kiss and hopefully they're still going for a fake out. We kind of just went for that and you're going to taunt me actually. Which isn't too bad. That's an okay turn. Let's see what you're doing. Are you parting shot into my Garatina? That's the real question. Are you going to parting shot into the Garatina? Because if you are, I mean, I, at least I get the special defense boost and you are going to parting shot in the Garatina. So that's okay. I mean, I still like our typing here. And I mean, Comfy could, we could just swap it out here and let them just keep taunting me. But I mean, they might just taunt my Garatina at this point, right? They might just taunt my Garatina at this point. 
Let's see, they end up going into Terrapagos, and we might, we might just want to start attacking. We might just want to start attacking that thing. I'm going to get rid of Fluttermane. I am going to take out this thing's shell, this Terra Shift shell. The Draining Kiss is going to fly out here. Terra Shell going to break. It's going to do negative six damage. Are you going for a Taunt on the Me Too? Yeah. See, I thought you were. I thought you were. That's the reason I didn't go for the Calm Mine. But this thing is probably setting up a Calm Mine, which can be very annoying. And I'm going to end up going for a Shadow Ball into this slot and do an awesome amount of damage. Big time damage there. And there's the Calm Mine boost. Now, this is where things get really tough for us, right? I mean, we do have good physical attackers in the back, on, back end with, like, Headlong Rush. But, I mean, this thing can do some monster damage into us. It really can. And he's not outspeeding us. We are outspeeding him, which is great. And the reason for that being great is because I can maybe pain split soon enough. I can maybe pain split soon enough. So from here, you know what? I'm just going to swap Comfy into Incineroar. Actually, no. I think we just keep Comfy on the field. I think we just keep Comfy on the field. We go for a Dragon Pulse into that slot. And we'll just Drain and Kiss the Flutter main. Look to get rid of it. So yeah, we're going to get rid of the Flutter main here. I mean, they could set up another Calm Mine. I think they are, considering they haven't Terrestrialized yet. And maybe we can get a crit. I would love a crit. I would absolutely love a crit. No, no damage. And he's going to get off another Calm Mine. So this one looking real tough for us at this point. Looking real tough for us. But I don't think he's Leftovers, is he? I don't think you're Leftovers, are you? You're not, which is great. Which is great. So they're probably going to go back into Incineroar, if I had to guess. Yeah, Incineroar's going to come out here, and they're probably just going to fake out the Garatina, which, I mean, I guess I'm going to have to deal with. I guess I'm going to have to deal with. Hmm. So from here, I'm just going to go for a con- Actually, I'm still taunted. That's ridiculous. I'm just going to go for Dragon Pulse into this slot, and you know what? I'm just going to protect you, or do I attack? I said we just double down into Incineroar. Let's do as much damage as we can into Incineroar. The Draining Kid's gonna fly here. Are they going for a fake out onto Garatina? Or are they going for another Calm Mind boost? No, they're gonna fake out. Please don't be going for another Calm Mind. Just attack me. Chill! Chill! This thing's gotta chill. But I'm really... My, my whole hopes here is... My hopes is I could just bring in my back end Pokemon. And I can really just start getting after him. But you know what? I'm gonna start boosting you with Calm Mind. Just to get my special defense up, but I'm just gonna keep, uh, keep hitting this thing. That's fine. You can protect all day. You can protect all day. You might parting shot into me again. That's definitely a possibility. But I'm just gonna combine boost. We're chunking up damage onto Incineroar. Probably force him very, very soon. And combine is just gonna start boosting us. I'm fine with that. You can parting shot me if you want. You can. I mean, you're probably gonna do it. Yeah, it's fine. And now I'm plus two on special defense, which is massive. I know I'm neutral on special attack now, but still, being plus two on special defense, I think I'm cool with that. I like that. Especially up against this trap goes. If I can get it low enough, or I can get low enough HP, I can just throw a pain split out here. Or I can just keep Calm Mind Boost and Floral Healing. And they're going to do the same exact thing. You son of a biscuit. You know, let's go for this again. We're going to start boosting here. You give me no reason not to boost up. And we'll start chunking up damage into Comfy. So out finally comes the Terror type. Um... Okay, and we'll deal with that. Pain Split could come in clutch here, because we do have EQ rocking on our choice Scarf Pokemon. His physical damage would do the most of this thing, considering it's boosted plus three on, I think, special defense and special attack. But Draining Kiss is going to fly here, do minimal damage, nothing crazy. He's probably just floral healing. Yep, going back up to full HP. We're just looking to Pain Split here. We're just looking to Pain Split. So there goes our combine. We're going plus three on our stats. And I'll keep boosting my stats, to be honest. Probably your best bet. I mean, Terra Star Storm is going to be super effective on the Garatina, which kind of stinks. And Comfy might die to this. But we are just looking to get after this. And we die. My boy did not stand a chance. And Comfy survives on one HP, which is kind of tough. I kind of rather just die there. But I mean, from here... From here, we got to go into the Great Tusk. We got to go into the Great Tusk. We got to go into the Tusk. So the Tusk is going to come out here. And we are going to choice into close combat and rip into this thing. I mean, do you have Terra Shell again? You actually might. 
But honestly, let's go close combat and let's go Draining Kiss here. And just take off its Terror Shell. Because I believe it gets Terror Shell back. Actually, it might not. Since it Terrasalized. It might not have Terror Shell as its ability anymore. But still, I am looking to just hit this thing as hard as I possibly can. And just take it out. So Draining Kiss is going to do like negative 6. Can close combat KO? I really hope it does. I really hope it does. I was going to say, if that KOs me, I'm going to be upset. But we're able to soak that up, no problem. Close combat should fly with a choice scarf. How much damage are we doing? Not enough. Not nearly enough, which actually pretty much loses us the match here. That sucks. I was really hoping that close combat would KO, and I was kind of relying on that the whole match. I really was, but we just let this trap go set up too much, hoping that this, uh, this elephant could take it out, and we're just going to end up losing this first match. Tough news for us. Tough news for us. I feel like Terrapagos is it's kind of hard to play up against sometimes, especially once it gets that calm mind set up. It's just so bulky and it can do so much damage. But that's going to be match number one. Our opponent's going to take it with Terry the Terrapagos. Out calm minding us. No big deal. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Because we're going to hop into match number two right now. Look for our first win and hopefully win our third match as well. Moving on to our second match, and we're going up against a Zacian team right here. Zacian, Zacian, whatever you guys want to call it. Don't kill me for my pronunciation, but um, they also got Ting Lu. They're rocking out with Rillaboom. Furthermore, they got Incineroar, the double fake out users, and then they got Shen Pao and Wellspring Ogre Pond. So they got Shen Pao, Zacian combo that can do massive amounts of damage. Um, Choice Scarf, Elephant is actually going to be pretty good for us. Uh, who else can we lead here? I mean, Intimidate user are going to be solid here as well. Though it could end up just like leading Incineroar if I want to. I could, but I'm going to go for our Calm Mind lead here. I'm going to go Calm Mind. I am going to go Comfy here. Uh, if they want to go into, say, Zacian and Rollaboom, or not Zacian and Rollaboom, Zacian or Shen Pao, I can always just bring Instant Mort in the back end, which is good. But again, they have two Fake Out users, and our lead right here kind of counters Fake Outs. So I'm going to do that, and then in the back end, we are going to bring, I believe, Great Tusk. I like the Great Tusk. Super effective onto the Zacian, onto the Shen Pao, onto the Instant Mort, onto the Ting Lu as well. We have a lot of different ways of getting off damage, but a problem with him is going to be ground moves are going to be weakened in the grassy terrain. So, gotta watch out for that terrain. Gotta watch out for, it, for that terrain. In that case, we probably just throw close combats left and right. We love close combat. But I like our lead here. I like our lead here again. Did the same lead as we did in the last match. Trap goes just getting the best of us. What are you gonna do with that? What are you gonna do? But they go Shen Pao and Cinnamore, and this is gonna be an easy hard swap for me into. into what's it called? Into Incineroar of our own. So we do have the Curva Cloak, which is nice. Um, I'm thinking of just Calm Mind boosting and Terrasalizing at the same time here. Get my stat boost. Intimidate them right back. Kind of go from there. I mean, you could go for Parting Shot Incineroar if you want to. But that's fine. That's fine. I like these boosts right here. So we're going straight into our boy. Hopefully he's going for Fake Out into the Comfy Slot. I would hope that, right? Instead of a Parting Shot. The double Intimidate comes out here. No clear amulets, which is awesome. And we're going to see a Terra pop out for me. Nice big time Fairy Terra. We're not dealing with any Ice or Dark moves coming out from Shen Pao into this uh, Garatina. It would just be super effective, and it would do way too much damage. So Fairy Terra, pretty solid on RN. Same thing with like a Dark type move from Incineroar. So Shen Pao ends up just protecting. That's cool with me. And what are you going for, Incineroar? You're going for Party Shot. I know. Why? What is up with all these Party Shots today? They just love Party Shot into me. They just love it. They just love it. There's that. Unless you're going for a knockoff. You're going to go for a will o -Wisp, which is fine. We're special attacking. We're not physical. The other Garatina form usually is physical. We're special attacking today, which is solid. It's really good for us. So now that Shen Pao actually already protected, we're pretty free to just fake out into it and double down. Right? I think that's really good for us. I think that's a solid turn for us. Let's do that. Let's double down on Shen Pao. Try to just get rid of it. Is it already protected? Going for double protect. It does not work out, buddy old pal. I like the effort, though. I like the effort there. So there goes that. Dragon Pulse going to fly after the fake out. And we are just going to dump on Shen Pao. Bye-bye. So getting rid of Shen Pao, pretty massive on the field. So I wonder what Incineroar is going to do. You going to finally party shot? Yeah, there's party shot. So party shot's going to come out here. That's fine. We're back to neutral special attack. We do have Pain Splitter for HP. Gets it a bit too low. But I mean, I'll probably just party shot with our Incineroar uh, at this next turn. Just to pivot out, get our fake out and intimidate again. Try to get out another Pokemon, such as the Great Tusk. Because if Great Tusk can come out here, that'd be pretty big for us. 
So we don't have protect on Garatina, which is kind of tough news. To be honest, it's really tough news. And who should I go into here? Because they're going right back into Incineroar to fake me out. You little biscuit. You little biscuit. I wish I had protect on this Pokemon because he could just go into Behemoth Blade. So Intimidate kind of fly out here. Um, we're going to go straight. Ah, dude. Ah, I hate this fairy type. Um, we're going to have to go into this guy. Let's swap into Great Tusk here. I'm going to go for the parting shot in his ass in here. Going to go right into parting shot. Can you please fake out the Garatina slot? We're going right into the elephant. Elephant's going to, he's going to take some damage here. We're hoping he can just survive. Fake out is going into Incineroar, which is kind of tough news here. And Behemoth Blade flying in the slot. Can you soak this? You do. So you should be able to outspeed everybody here. You should be able to outspeed everybody. And honestly, do I go into close combat? Do I go into EQ? I could go into EQ and swap into Garatina here. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I'm so down. I'm so down. Because you're outspeeding. You are faster than this Asium with your choice scarf. So EQ is going to fly here. This should be able to do a big chunk of damage. I wonder what they're going to do here. Because they could tear They could swap. I don't know, man. But maybe they don't think we're choice. Maybe they don't think we're choice. So we're going to go into our Levitate Pokemon right here. And they are going to Terrasalize. Probably the Zassian here, right? Little Biscuit, man. You little Biscuit. No, it's going to be Incineroar, which is fine by me. I'm going to go into Grass type. Again, fine by me. I have my Incineroar in the back end. I can do some nice damage to that. There's Terra right there. Are they just protecting Zassian? They are. Are they are. They are. And they're just going to get rid of my... They're going to get rid of my boy. They're going to get rid of my boy, which I do not like one bit. Unless I can survive my survive the shot. But now I'm gonna come EQ. We are now choosing in that. And are you flare blitzing into that slot? You're gonna go for a will o -wisp. Okay, we still out. This is fine. This is fine. Trying to go for the will o -wisp. We dodged the will o -wisp. Surprised he didn't just go for the KO. But I'm free to just EQ again. And I'm free to just go into a Dragon Pulse or do we come mine? I'm gonna go for Calm Mind here. I'm gonna boost our stats. I'm boosting our stats. Because we still have Compy in the back end to get some HP if we need it. Maybe I should have doubled down on Zassian. I don't know. End up withdrawing Zassian. That's fine. Cool. So Zassian gets the withdrawal here. Could go for another parting shot. He is gonna end up going in Ogre Pond. But Ogre Pond flies out here. This is such a good matchup here. EQ gonna come out here. I could actually just intimidate him if I want to. But EQ not really doing too much here. Are you gonna go for another Will O Wisp? Potentially, right? Definitely could. And I'm hoping you just KO my... I'm kind of hoping you just KO my... Elephant, right? You just should go for a Will-O-Wisp. Will-O-Wisp floys. Um, we need our Incineroar for Zacian. That's what we need. We need our Incineroar for Zacian. Now from here, we are taking a little bit of burn damage here. Um... We're just going to throw more EQs. Burn's kind of annoying me at this point. And I'm going to Dragon Pulse. Actually, I'd rather Shadow Ball into the Ogre Pond slot just in case they want to swap here. I mean, you could go for Parting Shot with Incineroar. That is an option. Honestly, let's just Shadow Ball Ogre Pond. So EQ's going to fly here. Do minimal damage again. With the Burn's going to do negative six. <laughs> it's doing nothing. It's doing nothing. And I because you're going to fly here. And can you just get rid of him? You do. So you're probably going to just parting shot here. I mean, we should be able to get off the Shadow Ball beforehand. And if we can KO Ogre Palm with the Shadow Ball. Oh, Lord, that'd be massive. That'd be massive. Because then I can intimidate Zassian and Incineroar. We do. Okay, that's huge. So now they're forced to bring out Zassian. They honestly might be able to get off and intimidate onto us. Are you parting shotting here? You are. So you're going to have Fake Out ready to go as well. You're going to have Fake Out ready to go. Alright, we got to figure this one out. We got to figure this one out. We got to figure this one out. We got to figure out how, how, how we're going to play this one. Because I don't have Protect on this guy. I mean, I could go into Comfy. And I mean, what would Comfy do? Floral Healing, Draining Kiss, nothing really. I mean, Intimidate's going to be our best bet. Mmm, this is so tough. This is real tough. Yeah, I'm gonna, she's gonna have to go into Incineroar. 
So Incineroar's gonna fly out here. We need Sassy going. I mean, I can get rid of their Incineroar with one Flare Blitz. It could be gone. It could be dropped. But we're gonna see speeds. I'm actually faster than his Incineroar, which is really big for us. Really big for us. So I intimidate them. Um, I'm faster than his Incineroar. My Fake Out will come out here first. But do I Fake Out their Incineroar? I think I have to Fake Out Sassy in here. I think I just have to fake out Sassy and, and at least try to get off some damage onto Incineroar. Yeah, it's gonna be my play. So fake out onto the Sassy. Hopefully he's faking out our Incineroar, but chances are you're not, right? Yeah, he's just gonna neutral out the turns. And now what do we do here? Now what is the play? I think we just get rid of their Incineroar with Flare Blitz. I think we just Flare Blitz their Incineroar. Flare Blitz and Cinnamore try to get off damage if we can. I mean, Combine or Shadow Ball would be our best bet here, which we're going to try. But chances are it's just going to be Behemoth Blade dead. And then we'll probably take out their Incineroar. And then we'll have Comfy. And I'm thinking, since they already used their Terra, if we can just like keep Incineroar alive with like Floral Healing with Comfy, it might be able to 1v1 the Assassin. Or not 1v1. We might be able to 2v1 the Assassin. But there goes the Behemoth Blade. Like I said, that's not KO, and hold up, we're able to soak and get off a Shadow Ball. No shot we just survived that. That Intimidate definitely helping us out. And Flare Blitz KO? We need Flare Blitz KO. And it does not, so we're picking up no KOs here. He's probably going to bury up here, and but Burn's going to KO us, which is kind of tough news. Actually, Recoil is going to KO you, or no? Not quite. Can Recoil KO you? Does not. It does not. Now, this is where we sit a little weird. This is where we sit a little weird. We kind of need Comfy to be able to eat up a Behemoth Blade. I'm surprised Garatina did, to be honest. I am surprised Garatina did. Because now I get to bring out Comfy. I could go for Draining Kiss just to outspeed and then Flare Blitz over into the Zacian slot. Where do I Floral Healing? You know, I'm a, I'm a, I think we'll be fine by just going for Flare Blitz here. I think we should be fine here. And just going for Draining Kiss to finish off Incineroar. I think we should be fine with that. Because, I mean, Zassi's not plus one, and that's where it gets a huge damage swing from. This is such a good match. Rainy Kid's going to fly here, finish you off. It does. It finishes off in Cinnamon. Now, Zassi, you got to be going for Behemoth Blade. You have to be going for Behemoth Blade in the Comfy. And I'm hoping Co Comfy can eat it up, because then I can eat Berry and then Floral Healing up from there. And you know, you're just going to go for Sacred Sword, which we survive. That's massive. That's massive. That is massive, because I get to do that. I get to drop a Flare Blitz, I won't die to Recoil, I get the Flow of Healing, Cinemora hit hard, and he's almost KO. I could actually just Giga Drain this and probably win this. But I'm going to play it smart and just go for Flare Blitz and Floral Healing. So I'd be so upset if I don't pick up the KO and then he just KOs me, but we should be fine. We should be fine. So out comes Floral Healing, we're going to get back a ton of HP, bring it up to 151. Sacred Sword not going to be able to do enough damage, and there it is, yo, what a second match. Garatina thriving out here, Incineroar thriving out here, and we're taking down this Sassian team. Moving on to our final match for today's video, we are going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team. Now this Trick Room team, going to be really hard to play up against, let's be honest here. Let's be honest, I usually struggle up against Ice Rider Calyrex's team, especially with teams like this. Where we don't really have a way of countering Trick Room. I mean, we do have Taunt on you, but if Ferrigraf is going to be the lead, we can't use first turn priority moves. So Taunt is just not allowed. So in this instance, we're probably going to be sitting in a terrible position. A terrible position. Our best bet at maybe winning this game would be going into Garatina and just trying to set up calm lines, right? It's just going to be so tough for us. I mean, I could go into like two heavy hitters maybe. I mean, I won't be able to figure out. We know they're going to lead for a We know they're going to lead for a But, you know, I'm going to go into these two. Just two heavy hitters. We're going to go into Ogre Pond in the back end. Actually, we're going to go into Cinnamon in the back end because fake outs could waste some turns. And then we'll bring in Ogre Pond. This one's definitely going to be tough for us. We had two solid battles. Match number one, we ended up losing. Match number two came down to the wire. That was the definition of a good Pokemon battle. And we ended up winning. So, we'll see if we can grab ourselves this winning record here. But Ice Rider Calyrex with Trick Room teams, really tough to count. Really tough to counter, especially once they get off that Trick Room with Ferrigraph, who is now one of the best Trick Room setters in the game, or in Pokemon, I should say. It's just tough, but they end up going into a Fake Out user. Kind of tough. Hopefully, they... No, they're just going to Fake Out my, my Elephant, and they Intimidate. So Trick Room is just free here. 
It's legit free. Trick Room is just free. So you know what? We are just going to end up swapping into Incineroar of our own. So I already know what's going to happen. I already know how they want to play this. I already know how they want to play this. And you know, we're just going to end up swapping into you here. But I already know how they, they're going to play this. They're going to fake They're gonna fake out my, my great Tusk slot. They're going to set up Trick Room. And then they're just going to party shot my Garakina. So we might as well set up a combine line here. What is up with all the parting shots today, man? I've just been facing so many different parting shots with Incineroars. But now comes the swap. Yep, there's the fake out. Totally fine. Go ahead, set up Trick Room. I can't do anything about it. But I mean, at least we have some Pokemon that can that aren't or like the Pokemon that they have on the field are not like crazy strong right now. But this is why I said they're gonna parting shot. Like, we already know that they're going for the parting shot. We already know what's happening. So honestly, I might just double down into this slot here, right? And I might attack it with a Shadow Ball. Because if I think they're parting shotting, right? They're going to parting shot into either Calyrex or Ursaluna. And in that case, Ivy Colors are going to be super effective on Ursaluna. And Shadow Ball is going to be super effective onto the Calyrex. I hope they just hard swap. That'd be great, because then I keep my special attack boost. Hopefully, but again, parting shot, it makes the most sense. Right now, you are slower than us, so parting shot can come out here first. Instead of hard swapping, you can get a minus one special attack drop. Or physical attack drop, depending if you want to go into Ogre Pond. Let's see. Let's see. But Frigoraph, probably just going to start throwing Hyper Voices around. Maybe throw it straight boost it. And now you're just going to Helping Hand. You're going to get straight after it. So Helping Hand, knock off, maybe? Yeah. It's a little weird. But I'll take that and take out my Garish Core. Actually, you can't knock that off. That item is unable to be knocked off. Now, Shadow Ball going to do minimal damage, but I'm hoping Ivy Cudger can just finish this thing off. And it does. It does bop it on the head. That's, that's a big time bop. That's a big time boppo. Big time boppo coming in hot here. Okay, so I would think they would bring out Calyrex here. Makes the most sense. And if they do, we're going to force the hard swap Garatina to... Sidor. And I might end up Tarascalizing our Ogre Pond just so we can be not very effective. Oh no, you're gonna go into Ursaluna. Actually, we're still gonna we're still gonna Tarascalize. We're still gonna Tarascalize you. Get that special attack boost. We love it. And you know what? We're gonna go for Horn Leech. Try to get back some HP because I would think you're doing some big time damage to us. I mean, I am special defense boosted, which is actually really good for me. I'm just gonna double down. Actually, we're gonna try to do some damage to Frigraph if we can. Because Frigoraph has a slight issue, because if we don't do any damage to it when Trick Room ends, it's just going to set up another Trick Room. But Ursuline is going to go into the normal Terror type, which is not crazy. Probably Helping Hand here again. I'm hoping we can soak with our Special Defense boost. And if you go for a Hyper Voice here, I mean, I'm Ghost type. I'm not affected with it by Garatina. That's good news for us. So Special Defense boost coming out here from us. We're hoping we can soak. We're hoping we can get back a decent amount of HP with our... With our Horn Leech. And we'll see what he wants to do. We could be going for Blood Moon, which is scary. Blood Moon's real scary. There's Helping Hand. Helping Hand Hyper Voice, hopefully. This Helping Hand Blood Moon's not sounding too nice. It's going to be the Hyper Voice here. Oh, you have Mind's Eye. I totally forgot. You can hit my Garatina. You can hit my Garatina. And I survive. I survive. My Ogre Pond survives. Kind of good news. Horn Leech going to do minimal damage. Nothing crazy. Oh man, the trick room is just a problem, man. How am I supposed to deal with this? I don't have knockoff either, which is oh man. Do not have knockoff. Guess I'll go into Incineroar. This is tough news, man. This is a tough battle. Trick Room is just an uphill battle. It really is. Pushing a sled uphill. All right, so we intimidate two special attackers. I just think Incineroar is a better play. Um, Spiky Shield here. Waste out a turn and... I guess I'll Flare Blitz you. Oh man, I can't fake out. I can't do anything. Rigraph on the field. Rigraph's just so good. It really is. There goes Helping Hand. Another Hyper Voice here. We're going to be able to Spiky Shield this turn. I might try to go for the double Spiky Shield. 
It's probably in our best interest to go for double split and shield. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. You end up just going for an earth power. Wow, good read. Great read. Great read. I mean, I don't have protect on my boy anymore. I don't have protect on my... On him anymore. On my tusk. So now what's the play? I mean, you're going for hyper voice. We gotta go for another spiky shield. I'm trying to go for a spiky shield here. And do we go for EQ? Do we go for close combat? I think we go for EQ. Uh, or do we go for headlong rush? It's just brutal. I mean, we could go for close combat. Yeah, I'm gonna go for close combat. We're going for damage. We're going for damage here. Helping hand coming out here. Land another spike shield. Land another spike shield. Back to backers. No, we never land back to back spike shields. Never. Never, never, never. Hyper Voice is gonna do some massive damage here. And now it's just pretty much game. Yeah, that's just KO us. It's just ridiculous how strong trigger teams can be. Especially in regulation G. Frick Ref so strong. Ursuline is so strong. And we didn't even get to their final strongest Pokemon, Ice Rider Kylox, which is crazy. It honestly is. But there it is. One or two for today's video. Still feel like we played pretty well with Garatina. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, showcasing Garatina in today's video. Didn't do too bad with it. We lost two battles. We only won one, but I feel like we showcased this Pokemon really well, especially in match number two, where we had a really good Pokemon battle back and forth. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.